give you a tour of my dorm at Nagoya University. Disclaimer, I basically, I haven't even moved in yet, so it is very, very not decorated. <laughs> this is how it was given to me, um, so it's not gonna be like super nice or fancy or decorate or anything, um, but I guess this is what you would get if you came and moved into a dorm here. So I'll just be giving you all a sneak peek. Hello, this is Elise from the future, one year into the future to be exact, and I am here coming at you live from my bedroom. This is my microphone that I use for ASMR. I'm just gonna sit her down here. Enjoy this nice audio quality while it lasts because I filmed the dorm tour on my iPhone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just wanted to mention a few things briefly before you get into the dorm tour footage because like I said, that was a year ago and a lot of things have changed and I just want to mention a few things. And also, sorry about my voice. Right now I'm getting over a cold, so I sound like this. Sorry, but I'm okay, don't worry. I, I'm, yeah, better than ever, um, except for my throat. First of all, point one, as I said, this video was filmed one year ago, in April of 2022, to be exact. Now it is May 2023, to be exact. And uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but when I rewatched the footage, I was like, what is wrong with me? Am I okay? I don't know, I just seemed a little dead on the inside. And I realized that that was when I had arrived in Japan about a week prior and I was going through it a bit, let me tell you. I was like at the peak of my culture shock, which hit me really hard. I was missing my family. I didn't have any friends in Japan. Um, I was lonely. Yeah, it was it was a rough time. So in the video that you are about to see, if it seems like there are undertones of depression, it's because there are. But do not worry, because uh, very shortly after that, I started going to therapy and everything was fine. It, therapy did wonders. Yeah, um, maybe I'll make a video about my therapy experience in Japan. <laughs> but that's for another day. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify you know what what was going on with me at that time and sorry that i was a little down and say hey, don't worry because i am okay second of all i also wanted to point out that because this video was filmed one year ago i no longer attend nagoya university because i graduated <coughs> and nor do i live at this dorm <laughs> third of all and this is the real shocker I never actually lived at that dorm. <laughs> I'm such a fraud. No, just kidding. So I did actually pay the rent and that was legally my dorm, like under my name. That's where my mail went and all that stuff. However, I did not sleep a single night in that place. I lived full time in an apartment with my boyfriend that I also like split the rent for. And I'll get into this more later, but that was feasible because the dorm was like dirt cheap and apartments are really, really cheap in Japan. So like all in all paying for both one and a half ended up being cheaper than like one whole apartment in the US. Yeah, but I'll go more into the prices and stuff later. Um, okay, that's all for now. I'll pop in later and give you like an overall rating of my, my genuine feelings about the experience after having rented it for a year and also some insight from some friends who actually lived there full time. <laughs> Just for anyone who is interested in studying abroad at Nagoya University um, or just really interested in the tea <laughs> of what actually went down in that apartment. Okay, uh, see you later. Bye bye. Back to Elise from one year ago. So here we are at the entrance of the room. As you can see, there's a little separation of the floor. Um, if you're not familiar with Japanese culture, it's pretty much standard that in a house living space apartment, you take off your shoes at the entrance. So this place, you're allowed to walk with your shoes, but the rest of the room, you are not. You also don't wanna walk here without your shoes. So this is only shoes, this is only not shoes. I'm still getting used to that. <laughs> but here is the front door. Nothing crazy, just a door. So this little hook for my keys. I believe this is a light tan. Yeah, just got a little bit brighter in here. Um, there's a lot of lights I will show you. So yeah, here's the little entrance area. 
And now I will take off my shoes. <laughs> As we enter here, let's start on the left. We have pretty good amount of storage space. I was actually really surprised because um, in my dorm room in the United States, I did not have a lot of storage space. So let me just show you everything here. A lot of cabinets, quite a lot of shelves. And again, everything's empty because I am not moved in at all. Uh, I've actually been staying with my boyfriend and his family. I'll talk more about that later another time. Hello, more storage, more storage. But yeah, just another view at this. So I can't really figure out the purpose of this thing. I think you can hang a towel here, but I don't know what this is. And then this mirror. This is one of two mirrors that come with the dorm. I'll show you the other one. It's in the bathroom, just a moment. It did come with these hooks. These very cute teddy hooks, which I love. I love teddy bear themed things. Um, and again, more storage. This is just like the one on the left from before. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm very pleased to have all of this cabinet space and storage and whatnot. Look at that. Next, I'm going to take you into the bathroom. But first, this thing it says emergency, so I'm not going to touch that because we are not in an emergency. Not yet, at least. Let's open. So, something I had to figure out was that the light switch, turn this light on, is not in the bathroom, but over here. <laughs> we have a bathtub, and this is a pretty normal style, like, bathtub shower situation from what I've seen so far in Japan. I've been here exactly two weeks, and at my boyfriend's family's house and then the apartments that i've seen this is pretty typical to have like a normal bathtub and then the shower head is something small like this that like hangs on the side of the wall and then if you want to take a shower you basically have to like hold it to rinse yourself i don't know about where you guys are from but in the united states we usually have a fixed shower head up here that just goes down on you and you don't need to like hold it to rinse your body um, so that's something to get used to, but it's pretty handy because it's very, very movable. And then the sink, um, yep, just a sink. And then the other mirror that I mentioned earlier, they did give me a shower curtain. It's somewhere here. Yeah, I am yet to put it up, but they did give me a shower curtain. Um, some hooks, towel rack, toilet. This toilet is pretty underwhelming compared to other toilets that I've come across in Japan. That's been a big source of culture shock for me is Japanese toilets. They come from the future, let me tell you. Most toilets that I've seen have this huge panel of buttons with all these different symbols and I don't know what button does what. There's like five different bidets going on. I don't know, heated seats. It's pretty crazy, but now this one just has big flush and little flush. That means like, oh, key, chisai, big small. That is the bathroom. Oh, and they did give me one complimentary roll of toilet paper. Thank you very much for that. And then next we are in the bedroom area now. They did give me sheets and like bedding, which was pretty nice. I had to pay a fee for it to rent it for the semester, um, but it was nice that they provided it at a very cheap rate. Here is the air conditioner, uh, which is a whole nother adventure for me in Japan. <laughs> I, uh, again, I don't know about where you guys are from, but in America, we love the AC. We turn on the AC all the time. We put it on full blast. In Japan, no, they like it warm. And I am kind of hot everywhere I go, but it's fine. I'm getting used to it. I guess it's saving energy to not have it on. It's not on right now. Um, I think people prefer to open the window instead if they want to cool off. Uh, I'm curious if this is storage or not. Let's find out. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. That's so useful. So we have more storage under the bed. That's crazy. There's so much storage here. Wow. And we have... I'll go there last. We have a desk. Two desks. Not really. One desk and then like a little thing. I don't know what to call that. There's that. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. We have a lot of outlets here. More outlets over there. Big spacious desk. Um, came with this 
standard rolly chair, desk chair, and a lot of drawers and stuff. And I checked prior to filming this to see if there was any fun things left in here. And there was not, just some ominous red marks then. There was also, this is my laptop. This was not given to me at the door. Um, but this was given to me, this phone here. It's not plugged in, so it's not working yet. I've not tried to use it, but nice. Um, I don't have a SIM card yet, so this might come in handy if I need to make a phone call in the next few days. Next, my favorite part of the room is this big window. I'm gonna go wide angle again. I love windows. It's one of the most important things for me in a living space is to have natural lighting. Wait. Or else I get kind of sad if there's no natural lighting. I definitely need my sunshine. If you're not familiar with the city of Nagoya, it is one of the biggest cities in Japan. But it's also very spacious and there's lots of different types of areas. So the place where Nagoya University is, is a little bit outside of the busy city part. So this is more of a laid back, um, less hectic area. There's still some tall buildings and a lot going on, but it is definitely not the big city. But I was happy to have this greenery here. And that's another thing I've been surprised about, even within the busy part of the city, there are a lot of parks and a lot of greenery, which is nice. And this little patio area, balcony, whatever you want to call it. And have the screen door as well. Make it open it somehow. There we go. And there's a good amount of space out here. I think the main purpose of the balcony area for a lot of people here is this. Don't know if you guys know what this is, but it is for your laundry. Because in Japan, most people do not own dryers. They just have a washer and they hang their laundry to dry while they're in the room or outside on the balcony, uh, which again is something as an American I am not accustomed to. I'll just give you a view of the whole place here from this angle. Um, that's been pretty much everything. And this space, I'd say, is pretty good size for just one person. Yeah, no roommates. Where I'm from in the United States, in college dorms, you like 99% of the time you have a roommate. Two people living in a very small room, probably about this size, a little bit bigger than this and usually you don't have a bathroom in the room you have like a communal uh bathroom communal kitchen area ah yeah that's something else i wanted to talk about so as you saw there is a bathroom here personal bathroom but there is not a kitchen the kitchen is out there we have a shared kitchen that everyone on this floor shares i have not checked it out yet and i don't know if there's people there so i'm kind of shy to like film <laughs> so maybe another time um but yeah i'm sitting in the rolly chair right now Woo. yeah that's about it i'm trying to think of any other important details that i could share with you uh there's i believe washers out there that i can use there's my mailboxes everyone's mailboxes are on the first floor it's like a six minute walk to campus about. It's not bad. So technically it's not on the campus, but it's right down the street from where the campus is. And it's also right in between two subway stations. And then somewhere down there, there is a convenience store, the lovely Combini that is very convenient. It does live up to the name. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helped you if you're considering coming to Nagoya University, living in a dorm. Oh, this is the international, one of the international dorms. There's a few of them. There's Omekan, that's this one. There's Daiko, that it's like over there. And then I think there's 
another one or another one. Um, I believe Omecon is the newest one, one of the newest ones, and one of the, the nicer ones. Personally, um, I guess I should tell you, I won't be living here full time. The rent was so cheap here that it was feasible for me to rent this and use it for storage and just as another space to have because the apartment that I'll be living in is pretty small. Um, but yeah, the rent here is like less than $150 a month, um, which is for me, that is very cheap. In the United States, you would have to pay like four times that much to get an apartment or something or a dorm. Yeah, so I won't be living here full time, uh, but here's the space. Okay, see y'all next time. Bye bye. Boo. Did I scare you? I hope so. So I'm back. Hello. Thank you for watching the dorm tour. If you're still sticking around, very sweet of you. And as promised, I will now give a thorough and honest review of the dorm from my shared experiences of my experiences and my friends' experiences. Yeah, let's get into it. First of all, price, five stars. It was Niman yen per month, which is 20,000 yen per month. I'm gonna give you the exact currency change right now because you guys are sitting on my laptop. So I'm gonna tell you exact number of how much that was per month. 20,000 yen to USD. $145.03 per month. So five stars, you gotta give it a solid five stars, nothing less. Next, convenience. Do, 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 do. Four stars for convenience. It is extremely close to campus, as I mentioned, maybe a five minute walk if you're a real speed walker, seven to eight if you're going for a little stroll. And also, it is just a few minutes away from a train station and you're also very close to multiple convenience stores and there's a supermarket like a five minute walk away as well so really good location cannot complain did i give it i'm trying to look at my notes did i say four or five stars why did i take off a point ah i literally wrote knocking off one star because it's like 12 floors with 500 people and one extremely slow elevator yeah <laughs> if you live on an upper floor i've heard it is a pain in the booty because the elevator is super slow and everyone's always trying to use it at the same time next cleanliness three three stars this is being kind this is being kind and i'm so sorry but i said i was going to be honest and i'm going to be honest let me cough <coughs> Okay, what was I saying? Cleanliness, right, cleanliness. First of all, I'm, I, you know, I'm, maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. However, when I received the dorm room, it was in pretty clean condition. It was a bit of like a musty smell, but it wasn't bad. I guess someone hadn't lived there in a little while and it was just like a closed room with no air ventilation for a very long time. To be expected, but the kitchen, the shared communal kitchen. One kitchen on a floor. That place became a biohazard. That place got dirty. I heard so many stories from my poor friends who like literally could not cook anymore because they couldn't even go in the kitchen without choking on the stench. Stench. I can't speak for every single kitchen on every floor, but my friend took me to her floor and when I took a peek into the kitchen sink, it was disgusting. Like people had just been dumping their food and like there was, and it had been there for months. It, it was growing a whole universe in that kitchen sink. Yeah, the kitchen was a mess. So if you're someone who likes to cook and if you're thinking about studying abroad in Nago University and living in this dorm, maybe you want to reconsider your choices. God, you didn't hear from me, but you heard from me, you didn't hear from me. Next, cultural immersion, five stars, a solid five stars. The dorm itself is like about half um, international students, excuse me, and like half Japanese local students. And so your neighbors, you're rubbing elbows with the locals. It's a great way to make Japanese friends, which I think a lot of exchange students have a hard time making friends with the locals. It's, it's really easy to stay in your little bubble of English speaking friends but it's a really good way to branch out and interact with Japanese culture. And finally, my last category of reading, the front desk lamp. And finally, 
the front desk lady, five stars. That woman was an absolute angel. I love that woman. I love her so much. Uh, she put up with so much from me because uh, this is a whole other story. So because I didn't live there and I was just traveling a lot for a lot of the time because my classes, most of them were online. I was always traveling. I wasn't checking my mail and that is completely my fault. That is my responsibility to check my mail, but I wasn't. And so my mailbox was like overflowing and that poor woman was getting calls from the gas company because I didn't pay my gas bill for like three months because I didn't know it existed because I didn't use any gas. So I was like, I'm gonna get a gas bill. I got a gas bill. It was like less than a dollar. And that woman walked me through the whole process of having to pay back the gas people and like was really patient with me, even though I was terrible. I feel so bad for her. I was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I couldn't tell her that I wasn't living there because I don't think it was allowed for me to not be living there, but have, have it listed as my legal address. They're kind of strict about that. So I was trying to come up with an excuse for why I hadn't checked my mail in three months. And I she knew something fishy was going on, but she was really, really sweet and really patient. And, and not only was she patient, but she is efficient. That woman ran everywhere. I was astonished. Every time she would go somewhere, she would like do this little jog. And if you were going with her, you would just have to keep up with her pace. She always had somewhere to go. Five stars, efficient queen very patient love her okay all in all my feedback i would say the good generally outweighs the bad and i i recommend it i would recommend staying in that dorm you, you get a good mix of being able to meet other international students and other japanese students and it's you can't beat the price it's very convenient hopefully your kitchen just won't be a mess <laughs> okay uh thank you very much for watching my video and thank you for uh, enduring the sounds coming from my throat right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed my wee little tour. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>